Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel if you're new. My name is Maria and we are talking about lichen sclerosis here. And as we spoke in the previous video about steroid side effect and how it works, let's talk about how do actually steroids work to help people with lichen sclerosis skin thickening. Also in today's video we will discuss how Tacrolimus works and as a bonus I will tell you about some other treatments that we haven't discussed extensively yet. Let's go! Let's start with clobitazole. Human body has glucocorticoid receptors. Clobitazole basically binds them and activates them. This causes certain anti-inflammatory proteins to start being produced and certain inflammatory mediators which cause inflammation are being subdued by clobitazole, which of course, as you already guessed, stops inflammation on its tracks. Interesting that the whole mechanism of anti-inflammatory effects of corticosteroids and steroids are still unclear to science. But it is believed that steroids affect phospholipase A2, which is a protein that is also called lipocartin lipocartin releases arachidonic acid, which is a common cause of inflammation. Basically, corticosteroids stop phospholipase A2 from producing this acid and from causing the inflammation. Let's talk about tacrolimus now. Tacrolimus and pimicrolimus have absolutely different scheme of work. They don't affect inflammatory acids or proteins directly. What they do is affect the autoimmune disease starting mechanism. Let me just remind you that we have these T cells in our organisms, T lymphocytes, which protect us from viruses and bacteria, but also which cause us to have autoimmune diseases by attacking healthy cells and recognizing them as an anti-agent or as a harmful agent. So tacrolimus is an immune suppressant. It basically works to suppress this overreaction and overprotection against the body's own cells. As you remember, we were talking about two general types of T cells, killer cells and helper cells. Killer cells, as you know from the name, kill the antigens of the imposter and helper cells orchestrate this whole thing. Tacrolimus actually affects helper cells and weakens the damage that this T cell response causes, which means that when your skin is being damaged by T cells, tacrolimus is very effective in stopping or at least weakening this damage to a bearable point. Also, presentation of self-antigen is being spared, which means that tacrolimus doesn't cause any damage to the cells that are being attacked. So as you can see, tacrolimus targets the T cells that went crazy and started attacking our own body and at the same time decreases the damage that these T cells cause to the epidermis aka our skin. But remember, there is still a paragraph in the leaflet to tacrolimus and pimicrolimus that tells us about the side effects. I'm not telling you that tacrolimus is the most harmless substance in the world. You should still consult your doctor before using it. And as I promised you, I will tell you a bit more about one other option for the first stages of lichen sclerosis. And this group of medications calls topical retinoids. Retinoids are basically vitamins A and E, and they help your skin to regenerate itself. Dr. Alexander Borghe from Italy reported that tretinoin 0.025% cream, which was being applied for six months on some of his patients with lichen sclerosis, could be a useful alternative for corticosteroids in case of vulvar lichen sclerosis. Threatinotene especially affected hyperkeratosis and skin pallor. 
He had a group of 17 patients with lichen sclerosis in which 70% of these people had a positive response to the treatment and more than half had different types of improvement. What is the mechanism of topical retinoids? When a retinoid is applied on the skin, it compensates the collagen deficiency. And I think that here we are talking again about thinning of the skin that was caused by lichen sclerosis. By this compensation or partial compensation, retinoids stop the skin matrix from the further degradation. Basically, you can use retinoids with some other types of treatment like tacrolimus. So tacrolimus subdues the T cells that target your own cells and then retinoids replenish the collagen deficiency. This is all for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. Please subscribe and hit the bell button below the video. Hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye!